OFA can do is we need to start rethinking the models that that last year worked pretty well. And last year there was a competition that was going on between the Obama campaign and the Democratic Party, and they were both organized on the same level, which was geographic. You mean 08 or 10? Uh, 08. <coughs> Uh, the Obama campaign tried to do the neighborhood organizing. Mm -hmm. It was seen by some people as Four in conflict <laughs> with the Democratic mm -hmm. Party, which is organized on a neighborhood geographic basis. And I think we need to, to rethink this a little bit and talk about a matrix where we have the, the party structure concentrating on the geographic organization and the OFA structure concentrating on real social networks that we have. We all talk to people about issues and we help convince people, we're opinion leaders, every one of us, uh, on different issues, admittedly, but we're all opinion leaders. And those things cross neighborhood boundaries, cross precinct and ward boundaries, but we need to organize it so we build a web of neighborhood folks going this way and opinion leaders and their real social networks, whether they're electronic or otherwise, I'm not much of a, when I talk social network, I'm talking about people who come sit in my backyard and talk about issues, uh, that they will cross over and we can build a network or a web where we can get the maximum number of votes for our issues uh, as opposed to what the other guys are going to try to do. The, the Tea Party folks. And the Tea Party folks have out-issued us, they've out-organized us, they've out-mediaed us, and that's why, uh, as much as anything else, Obama is in trouble. He hasn't been able to push the agenda that he wants because we have this other group that is pushing back so hard and convincing so many people that that they're right and we're wrong, and we're not. We're right and they're wrong, and we need to say that, and we need to say that repeatedly. Yeah, for sure. Can, uh, we're going to take a, a water break.